Hi, everybody. It's Mike from Here the Watchman. Man, am I excited today. We are one week away from the conference starting in Dallas, Texas. And if you want to join us for this event, it's not too late. Go to hearthewatchmen.com. Sign up for the streaming of that. Use the code DALLAS20 and you'll receive 20% off your purchase. You can watch it for up to six months. Get busy. Get on. Answer the call to gather in Dallas. Today, I have a special guest with us. He's my right-hand man in, te in Texas at the conference. He was my right-hand man in, uh, gosh, in Boise, Idaho. He was my right-hand man, yeah, right man in uh, Dallas the year before. I have with us Taylor Joseph, who is driving from California all the way to Dallas, and he stopped at an icon iconic spot. Well, an iconic spot for me because he is in <laughs> Wilcox, Arizona, where I spent about a year managing a 4,000-acre apple orchard and a apple juicing plant. Now, ask this question. Before I took that job, did I have any agricultural experience? None at all. So I guess it's no coincidence the apple orchard in that company is not there anymore. But uh, Taylor, right, thanks Mike. for joining you us started, from the road. You started here, the Watchman, without <laughs> any conference experience, too. So we, it seems like you're How's really the road good trip adapting. going? It's going How's really your road well. trip was, going? Uh, smooth, smooth drive last smooth night. Smooth drive last I, uh, night. I left, I, uh, I, left, I left California I, about 9 p.m., and then I got out here to Wilcox about 7 a.m., straight shot. <laughs> Took a little two-hour nap. And now I'm, I'm just – I'll show the folks at home. I'm just enjoying the scenery. Beautiful down, historic downtown Wilcox, Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. And and if you can see in the background, now this this is an important landmark. This is Mickey's place, and it's actually named for for Mike Kerr, Mike Whitestone, the man with the, the stone that is white. And, and and the reason that they they named this restaurant and lounge after him is because when he was here working at the apple orchard he used to wear a pair of red shorts just like mickey mouse and no shirt so so they they opened up this wonderful establishment but sadly since he's left they had to they had to shut down because the draw wasn't there now i didn't fact check <laughs> any of that history but since it's posted on the internet now it, it must be true <laughs> well you know it was it was a pre-save Mike Kerr back then, folks. I'll tell you that for well, certain. Well, that's all we'll talk <laughs> about, the restaurant and lounge. <laughs> there was a lot of requirements so, uh, going on. Now, you're going you're gonna to just keep going straight through. You're going to be in just Austin, gonna, Texas sometime tonight, right? Just going to keep going. <laughs> We're not going to stop. Yeah, I was, uh, I was telling Mike before we went on air that uh, I should be – Passing through the land of enchantment for the next few hours, which is New Mexico for, for those of you out of, out of country, across the pond, our, our brothers and sisters in, in England and abroad. The land of enchantment, New Mexico, where Mike tells me there's, there's a landmark I'm going to try to find for you. I'm going to go on a little treasure hunt in Gallops and, uh, well... You'll just have to wait for that. It's like the, the hanging cereal. Next week on Hear the Watchman Taylor's Journey, a special treat. I'll, I'll drop this hint. It has something to do, in my mind, with Johnny Cash. But that's all I'm going to say for now. We'll save that. We'll <laughs> save that for later. Oh, there's more to come. Well, all right. Exciting. <laughs> now, Taylor... I understand that you, I mean, one of the things I love about having you at the conference is you're so organized and you help me pack everything up and do anything. But I hear you <laughs> forgot something. What did you forget? I, <laughs> you're good. <clears throat> that was a good segue. So I was telling Mike earlier that I got about halfway got through about Arizona. Halfway and through I, I am. Arizona. I'm, I'm a little bit OCD. And so I go over lists over and over. It took me all day to pack and repack and everything. I get in the car. I, I start driving at 9 p.m. last night about, I don't know, 
4 or 5 a.m. I'm passing through Tucson, and I realize I didn't bring any shoes. So <laughs> I went to I went to Beals Outlet here in uh, Wilcox, Arizona, and I got a pair of shoes. I'm not going to show them now, but those of you that are coming to the conference in Dallas, you're going to know that those are my special Arizona shoes. And they're not going to be as comfortable as the shoes I left at home, but <laughs> they were very inexpensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to be having a good time. I know you're drinking a lot of coffee, but of share coffee. with us for share with us for a minute why you are so looking forward to the conference and and why you're willing to drive in a car from Los Angeles to Dallas, Texas to attend it. Well, for anyone that that follows Mike on Facebook, they they know that the Dallas Fort Worth area has amazing cuisine and so i'm just really i'm coming out there for the tacos and the whataburger <laughs> that's a little that's a little inside joke um you know it's it's hard to describe here the watchmen without just calling it church i mean it is it's the most most church that I have in my life that, you know, it's twice, twice a year, I get to gather together with, you know, my brothers and sisters that I'm connected with in ways that is not really the norm, you know, where, where I'm staying, people that understand things the way I understand. And, and so I've been just desperately looking forward to this. You know, I see it as a family reunion slash information session slash just time for hugs and love and prayers and that's what i'm looking forward to i'm just looking forward to the people the the speakers the thousand attendees that are going to be there and we're all just gonna to get together and sharpen each other up and fill each other up with love and that's what that's what i'm excited about we're gonna have some laughs we're gonna shed some tears and uh it's gonna be good it's exciting and henry groover is gonna be there I am so excited about Edward Groover. I was listening to your interview with him on my drive. And uh, that man, he is such an anointed man. I'm so excited to meet him and kidnap him. I mean, bring him from the airport to the hotel. Well, amen, brother. Now, listen, I, I, we got to get, let you get back on the road. And I hope that we're going to be able to maybe do one more segment today with somewhere down the road somewhere someplace uh and we'll just you and i'll try and work that out god bless you we're all praying for you for safe travels and i want to thank you for pulling off the road in the iconic wilcox arizona Woo! spend time with us Woo! All right, Taylor, God bless you. We'll, we'll catch up with you uh, down on the road. If you would, just stay with me for a minute here uh, after you we sign it. off. Folks, get busy. Go on to hearthewatchmanmen.com. Join this gathering. God is calling. Answer that call. Until we see you next time here on The Watchman's Report, God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day.